Hello everyone. Okay, you're welcome to Feel Cool Mathematics. And in this video, we will provide the solution to this. We have x times x times x plus x equals 10. This dot right here implies multiplication. x times x is x squared x squared times x is x to the power of 3 plus here we now have x this is equal to 10 now if you have a problem like this do not disturb yourself you will just look at look at the other side if you can express this in this form then it's easy for you okay and it's possible by the way before i do that if you have not subscribed just subscribe so that um, we will continue. Okay, thank you for subscribing. And if you have not, why don't you subscribe? Now, let's go. We have x to the power of 3 plus x. Now, let me pick out a number from 10 that can be expressed to the power of 3. The number is 8. Then, that means I need 2 more, right? Now x to the power of 3 plus x will now be 8 is 2 to the power of 3 then plus 2 so if you look at the left hand side and the right hand side they are now in the same form right so let's regroup so that we have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 together then we have plus x then these two becomes minus 2 on the other side and we equate everything to zero. Now, if you look at this first term, we have difference of two cubes, right? Now, just as we have a squared minus b squared to be equal to a minus b into a plus b, if we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, we'll now be having a minus b then what we'll have here will be quadratic no longer linear like this so we have a to the power of 2 plus a b then plus b squared so we have this now we're not using this right we're not using this because this is difference of two squares we are using this right here so our x to the um how do i say it Okay, so in place of this now, I will write like this. So x minus 2, a minus b is now x minus 2. x minus 2 in the first bracket, then a squared, that will be x squared plus ab, that will be x times 2, that will be 2x. Then plus b squared, that will be 2 squared, and it is 4, right? Then this right here, you know, we we'll now add um, this, okay, plus x minus 2 equals 0. Now, the next step is to factorize. x minus 2 is here and it's over there. So, x minus 2 is a common factor. Then here, we have x squared plus 2x plus 4, right? But since we divided this by this, we'll have 1 over there. So we divide, um, we equate to 0. x minus 2 is still a common factor. Now open the inner bracket and add this to this. So we now have x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. Now we're having two terms. This bracket here means that we're having two terms. The one in this bracket and the one in the other bracket and when you have two terms to multiply in order to get zero it means that either of them is equal to zero so we are going to equate x minus 2 equals zero and then x is equal to zero plus 2 so that x is equal to 2. now this is the real solution to the equation Okay, 
but we will still get more solutions from this quadratic equation. By the way, let's confirm what we have got. We got x times x times x plus x equals 10. Now, if you put 2 in there, you have 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2. That would be 2 times 2 times 2, 8 plus 2. And 8 plus 2 is 10. So 10 is very correct. But then we will still look at we will still look at the other quadratic equation there because if we equate to zero, it gives us quadratic equation. And it is x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. And we are going to solve this by using the formula. So our x will now be minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is called quadratic general formula. So our a is 1, b is 2, c is 5. So x will now be minus 2 plus or minus. In place of b squared, we have 2 squared minus 4 times 1 because a is 1 times 5 c is 5 divide all through by 2 2 times 1 is still 2 so that will not change a thing now let's continue from here our x will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root we had 2 squared before that will be 4 then minus 4 times 1 times 5 that is 20 then we divide by 2. x will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 times 4 minus 20 is minus 16. Then we are dividing by 2. We cannot find the square root of negative 16. But we can work on this using our idea from indices or our idea from sort. So x will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 times square root of negative 1. Okay, square root of 16 times square root of negative 1 is the same thing as square root of negative 16. We now divide this by 2. So our x will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. Square root of negative 1 is imaginary i. So we multiply it by 4 to get 4i. This is 4. Then we divide by 2. So if we go ahead now, our x will now be... Okay, 2 will go here. So we have minus 1. Then plus or minus. The same 2 will go here. We have 2i. This is a 2 in 1 solution. So we are saying that x is equal to minus 2, sorry, this minus 1 plus 2i or minus 1 minus 2i. So from here, again, we have two more solutions. But these two here are not real solutions. The only real solution is x equals 2. Thank you for watching to the end. If you're here and you have not subscribed, then do well to subscribe.